How's it going everyone? Thanks for tuning in. We've got another project here. Uh, this is actually the camper, not the truck. The truck is good, but we just picked up this 1999 StarCraft Roadstar pop-up camper. This is my dad's truck, the O2 Silverado 1500. But uh, we picked this thing up. You guys can see some of the damage here. Uh, we got it really cheap, so I mean, we've been looking for a pop-up camper for a while. It fits nice on a half ton and doesn't, doesn't sag it too much in the rear, which is ideal. Might end up putting the Adelie leaf or something just to make it a little nicer. But you can see some of the damage here. It's just got rotted wood, which is kind of the fate of a lot of these old uh, camper kind of things. Cab overs, RVs, you know, everything like that. They get just, they just end up rotting. Especially here in Washington, it seems that uh, there's a lot more that have been kind of wrecked. But you see, basically this whole top part uh, cab over part is held up with this. This solid. This part's this part's solid. This is solid. The bottom is pretty solid. It's just this side and this side, and the same on the other on the other end. Right up here, it's kind of got the same thing going on. Just just uh, rot. So I thought I'd start a video for you guys to show you kind of what what our solutions were to fixing an old camper like this because. I'm sure there's a lot of people that see campers with some rot on Craigslist. This is kind of extreme version, but it shouldn't be too hard to replace. But a lot of people find them on Craigslist, and I mean, for great deals, and wonder what kind of work goes into it. So I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. Here's the back side of the camper where you walk in. Uh, there's a little thing right here. It folds up, but it is not attached right now. Inside, some steps. You can see up here we've already started some disassembly. You can see back there it got really wet. There was a this is where the top bed went, and we I ripped off the top part of it, and then we kind of just cleared up in here. And yeah, real wet back there. Not as wet over here. You can see this side is pretty damaged. So what we're gonna end up doing is just cutting it probably right around here, and just new replacing all the wood over there. Yep. So if you guys are looking at a rotten old camper uh, we're going to show you what you need to do to get it working again all right guys i've been turning this thing for a while just made a home depot run got some wood so it's out from under the truck or out from on top of the truck just three saw horses and then uh some i mean these two jacks are still or four jacks are holding it up and you can see how rotted this thing is it's very rotted and whoever had this before used about 40 screws to hold it in down here so every single hole you see someone used a screw there's still more all the way up so we're gonna get all that taken down you can see this stuff is just it's particle board you know I mean particle board and water they don't mix this is some nice stuff what we got um, I can't remember exactly what it was but it's half inch thick and it's pretty fine fine grain and it's very hard and it's not too heavy actually so it'll be plenty strong uh, for what it needs to do much stronger than the design that they had before. We just got two 4 by 8 sheets for this. Uh, we know that we'll probably definitely need one of them. Uh, so we'll just get two. These are like 35 bucks at Home Depot. And we got five one by 2s just for for anything really. You can use them for a bunch of different things and they're like a dollar. So always pick up some one by 2s when you're at Home Depot. So I'm thinking up here once we get this all sorted out and uh, nice and strong i'm gonna keep a design like this guy put up the guy before us put this on there just because this started to sag a bit you can see i mean here let's see if i can zoom you out but i mean i can move it easy so we're gonna get rid of that this bottom part is actually solid it's this side the sides are pretty bad because the sides have insulation i don't think the bottom does so it's a bit stronger um, i might put a full like steel frame up here uh, starting here, go all the way back to the corner and then down and over and uh, we'll screw that in here. This would be nice. I mean, this is solid wood, so you can do that and do the same on this side with a big old gusset right here in the corner. Because, I mean, when you think about it, it's a lot. Of, if you're sleeping on here or two people sleeping on here, you got a lot of weight up. Uh, it's got a lot of leverage on, on this corner. I mean, this is definitely a weak spot of the design and really of any cab over. So... To make this very strong is going to be uh, pretty important. With 
with any project like this, you're going to want to get to the root of the problem. So we're going to get to the base of this thing. Um, I'm going to rip off all of this aluminum sheet on here, and we're going to get these rails off just so we can get to where the real problem is. All right, so this was kind of a bad idea. Uh, this is pretty much what's holding up the uh, cab over part. It is loose. Not good, but uh, I think we'll just make a little stand here to hold up this while we rebuild everything. I think the conclusion we've come to now is that from that window forward, it's going to be a whole new camper. Uh, we're going to replace probably this bottom piece here, definitely the sides, the whole front. The inside's all going to be new. Um, yeah, from, from right here all the way over. And that way we know everything we're screwing into, if we're putting anything in, we know it's going to be solid and uh, it's not going to rot any, anytime soon. It's all going to be treated and it's going to be nice. So, yeah. So you can see the inside here. This is This piece is what the bed sat on. And you can see, I mean, this is the exact piece that is actually the floor of the of the camper. You can see the hole there. I mean, but it's insulated, so that's I think that's contributes to why it's so uh, rotted, because it's just veneer, and then uh, middle is foam, and then veneer on the other side. So it's really thin and kind of easy to get water into. So you can see this whole front part's gonna need to be rebuilt. Shouldn't be that difficult, but starting from scratch is not ideal so you can see we got the front of it supported here uh, got all of the like ridge or these uh, seal things the seams all ripped out so this is all ready to come off um, got the canvas separated from the, the main body I think this is good this back piece is good um, but we'll obviously find out all right you guys can see we got this cab over part actually taken all the way off and we're starting to put some new wood we're just going to rebuild this this whole piece that goes up there just rebuild the whole thing make sure uh, everything's solid we're actually having to do a little bit more to this than we wanted to um, you can see this side this base here is pretty rotten so what I'm going to do is just replace this whole or most of the board it goes from here and I mean this goes this spans the whole length back so I'm just gonna put new wood up to probably around here so halfway and I'll brace it all on the inside nice and strong that way I can replace this piece as well and that'll be really strong now to this side this side's a little harder because uh, there's cabinets and stuff so I won't end up replacing it all the way back I think we're just gonna replace it up to around uh, back there right where the first cabinet starts um, that way this is all nice and new because this is right where the jack was and just not holding up at all so we're just gonna end up replacing that replacing all this stuff we don't want to go too far into the camper and too far that way into the camper um, just kind of want to stay right around where we are but that's what we're working with here and I mean we got to stabilize this this piece here this is what cranks up the top up and down so we'll stabilize that make sure it's nice and straight and sturdy and then it'll basically be uh, just putting everything back together here we are I got this side new wood put down it's getting drilled in right or uh, screwed in right now um, it mounts in there so this is just going to give us a strong base to work everything else off of because this stuff is very strong, a lot stronger than the press board that's over there. But that's solid for what it is back there, the press board part. And then this is this is good too. Just screws in from the bottom like that. Very strong already and it's only a few screws in there. So we'll get working finishing that and then screw or then do this side back here. As you can see it's pretty messed up. I think what we're going to end up doing is cutting out this section, this square, um, and putting another piece of wood under it, and then another wood on another piece of wood on top of this, and screw it all together. Screw and uh, 
and glue it as well and then we'll work on this too all right we got some more stuff done today and another pile of trash we are done cutting out all of the garbage wood and uh, we got this new wood put in there and nothing's it's not screwed in yet this bottom piece I redid the bottom piece you can see that and then just a lot of notches for other piece for like our new pieces to mold into our older ones um, I'm gonna have an L bracket that goes here and holds the top up so we're not done with the top yet um, we gotta extend this piece out another five feet or so same this side's also done mostly it needs to be screwed in so this is a, a layer on top of half inch and then there's this layer on the bottom as well to make it very strong this is going to be so much stronger than uh than it was when it left the factory which is great um what we're going to do is add another beam down straight down so the new finished plywood has somewhere to go not quite sure what we're going to do on the outer part yet but um we'll figure that out when we get there at least just paint it for now and it will look good so there's some of the progress Hopefully, I mean, probably another three or four days and we'll have it done, uh, painted and everything and ready to be on the road again. What's up guys, we took a day off from working on this thing. Uh, well, I did at least, I was, I went uh, hiking and stuff, so. My dad was doing some of this. So what we got done here, this side is on, uh, not, not quite permanently, but um, it's on there and it's very sturdy. You can see we made this out of one piece. We made it out of one piece just so uh, it would be very strong. I'm working on the other side right now. I have it cut out all good. All of this is nice and in there. This is in. Um, you can see my dad, he doweled this in so it's all the way down through the bottom of it. Um, we have gotta work on this rail system or on the rail mounting. Um, we got that in there strong for now with, even without the plywood on it so this is going to be on the outside and so is this but we'll we'll find a way to cover it and make it not look bad I got these angle pieces made up to um, gusset or to hold up the bed part in the front so you can see I just cut out it's a two foot by three foot angle with a 45 degree gusset in it and it uh, doesn't look great but once I mean you probably won't notice it too much once it's on there but this will add a ton of strength to the top and not a whole lot of weight since this is only like 16 gauge not very heavy and uh, I mean once it's painted black and everything you won't even know you got one for each side so I'm just waiting for the everything in the front to be put on for me to put those up but we're, we're pretty close actually up guys kind of slacked on uh, the rest of this but you kind of get the gist of what went on we did this one side piece is the last thing you guys saw um, this one side up and over and then we actually did the same on the other side uh, just one piece right here it's painted white now up and over this I mean this isn't how it's gonna stay we have some uh, material that kind of resembles this stuff you can see it's kind of uh, you can see it's kind of ripply and we have some material that will go over that. We did this bottom plywood piece, um, just kind of framed it in. These are one by twos right here and it goes all the way across and then all the way back that way. It's just kind of a one by two frame around the outside of it. And I made these um, brackets or these braces kind of. You don't really know that they're there uh, when you're looking at it. It just kind of looks like it's, I mean it looks good. I like the way it looks provides a lot of strength for it these are just 16 gauge I believe um, one one inch square tube and this gusset is a one foot just about a one foot gusset in there doesn't interfere with interfere with the doors or anything on that truck um, it might with four-door trucks possibly probably not though um, they'd probably still open just fine um, of course the same thing on the other side you can kind of see the shot here it looks pretty good it's kind of hard to tell from afar that it's been touched 
Um, I think the black on these braces really add a lot of the look because it matches the trim around this window here. Uh, let me show you the inside. I'll pop the top on it and uh, show you the inside. I'll show you guys the process for uh, opening this thing. You guys can see that like there's a little bench and stuff here. I mean on this side there's a table usually goes right here. But even with the top down if you wanted to if you're stopping you could you could sit down and eat because I mean I still got a little bit of headroom here. Uh, you don't gotta pop the top but if you want to it's very easy. You know this handle here. You can see this handle has a like gear drive on it. So you spin it like this and it goes against the rail back here. I'll show you there's a little hole right there that this slides into. Make sure it's all the way in. You can start cranking. There are some latches on the outside on the perimeter. There's only four of them right now. There's none in the front because we rebuilt the whole thing. Uh, the back ones weren't attached. We just close it every night because it kind of gets, I don't want anything to get wet. So you crank it, it goes up. It's not too hard to do. Kind of look around, make sure nothing's sticking anywhere. And there's a, and you can see that there's this little catch here. It just slides over. There's a bar right there, and you'll see as I go in, it'll pop it up and lock it. Now it's, it's locked in there. And now the top is nice and popped up in here. You can stand up. I have. I have a lot of room above my head. I can stick my hand all the way up like that. It's all self-contained apart from a bathroom, but it comes with like a little, there's like a little toilet thing in here. You can bring out if you really want to, or you bring a shovel with you, no big deal. Um, this is the top part that you guys saw from the outside that we built. Basically, I mean, we built everything from this rail all the way forward. And you can see in here, a hot pocket from yesterday. And, um, it's just lined with one by fours all the way around. It makes it really strong. These uh, long, I think it's like around seven feet, but these seven footers go all the way around and uh, adds a ton of strength to the plywood underneath. So there's no there's no um, give or any play in that at all uh, with a person on it. Even two people, it's totally fine. Uh, a lot stronger than it was before. And uh, this will get its own hinges and stuff in the back. And it has gas shocks that I'll lift it up just for storage under there for clothes or whatever you want to put in there. Alright guys, so we got the siding on the side of the camper. It's looking pretty good. You can hardly tell. There's a seam here. Uh, we're going to put something in that. You won't even know. It's a similar texture. Very similar texture. You can hardly tell. Just at Home Depot. A couple of sheets of it, or one sheet of it really. And uh, it looks really good. Super happy with how this turned out. It's got uh, only a little bit more to do. All right guys, the camper is done. The whole outside of the camper is good to go. You can see this piece right here. This is a new piece we added in. You can't even see it, it's too bright. This is the new piece we added in all the way forward, all the way down. And uh, we just used some sealant right here. You can hardly tell from, I mean, a couple feet back. We're just, I mean, we're gonna strip all this, all the stickers off of it and paint it a certain color, I don't know. I kinda wanna do two tones. That's my dad, this is his camper and his truck, so it's all good. It's whatever he wants. We, as you can see, we kept the front nice and square. I like the way the square looks. Uh, it was kind of angled before right here. Probably good for aerodynamics, but this is a, a lot beefier than that. See, we got the clamps on here. They just unclamp like that. Goes up. And clamps down. All the lights work. We got it hooked up down in there. Brackets on. Holds up good. It doesn't interfere with any of the doors opening with these Chevys since they open. It's like suicide door. It doesn't even get close. So that's all the way open. And of course the same thing on the other side. We rebuilt just in front of this window. This is solid in here. Again, more just caulking in between the two panels. Hard to see because it's white, but 
all the way up. You can hardly see it from five feet back even. Got the brackets on there all nice and tight and it's on the truck. Now this is just a 1500 with a tow package uh, or a Z71 also so I don't think that adds any leaf springs but we're probably going to put an add a leaf on the back just so it sits a little taller. Alright guys that is going to be it for today's video. I just thought I would show you guys how we were going to fix this rotted out old camper and I thought maybe it would help some of you guys um, that are looking to do the same thing. You see a rotted out camper on Craigslist or something, usually really cheap. I just want to show you guys what was involved in fixing it up and making it uh, ready to use again. Thanks guys for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.